So one of the key habits that I talk about a lot here, and actually one of my most popular videos is how to actually start a morning routine and what to actually do in that morning routine because I believe, and a lot of people believe, that the way you start your day sets the tone for the day. Now in this video though, I wanna answer the objection, well, I'm super busy, or I'm on vacation, or I travel for work, so what should I do then? That's what we're talking about here today. What's up guys, Alex Hine here, author of the book Master of the Day. So the way I always think about my morning routine, whether it is five minutes or 45 minutes, is three parts. The first part is always blood flow, because probably like you, it's hard for me to get up in the morning. And the faster I get the blood flow moving, the circulation going, the faster I feel awake, and I feel in a better mood. The second thing is what I call priming, or God consciousness, or visualizing, or affirming. To me, they are all in the same category of putting your mind in the place that it needs to be to reach a future vision that has not yet happened yet. Because for me especially, I started a morning routine during the most depressed years of my life. Because honestly, the morning sucked. It was the most depressed part of the day and it was the hardest for me to actually get up and do anything. And then from there, it's starting with your power list, your master of the day list, your action list, whatever it is, whatever your to-do list or your checklist is for the day. So let's run through those three things now. So for me, the minimalist morning routine is essentially the same as my full morning routine, which can take up to an hour. The difference is I just do it in 10 minutes. So for blood flow, typically what I do is either five minutes of yoga or five minutes of jumping jacks or this kind of shaking qigong. So because I'm doing a lot of qigong for my school now and for my doctorate, what I tend to do is I come out of my bedroom and then I either put on music or something else and I just do five minutes of shaking. And shaking is basically, you look like a complete weirdo having a seizure. Basically, it's just jumping up and down, shaking out your legs and your arms and your head and your neck. And in Chinese medicine, it's one of those things, the practices that can get the blood flow going, which is really important for longevity and anti-aging. It's either that or it's doing yoga. So some days I just feel stiff or I did a workout the day before or I just slept weird and I really just need it downward dog for a minute and then some light lateral stretches. And personally for me with yoga, I just focus on areas of my body that I've historically had issues with. So for me, it tends to be making sure my hips are flexible and also that my upper back is flexible. The second step here is the God consciousness or affirming or visualizing steps. For me, again, my morning routine started during the most depressed years of my life. So for me, therefore, it was the most important to focus on the kind of life I wanted to build and who I wanted to become. So having said that, each morning what I do just for five minutes is spend time reading a book like Ask and It Is Given. You could read a holy text for whatever religion or spirituality you follow or a personal development book. The whole point is putting yourself in the right state of mind and the right state of spirit for where you wanna be during that day. For me, it's mostly been personal development because I've wanted to improve my life. So I'm either sitting down and reading by my nightstand with tea or I'm writing down in a journal the things I wanna do or the things I need to improve. And then after this kind of God consciousness segment, which is putting my mind in the right place, this growth mindset, after that it's working on your power list or your checklist, your master of the day list, whatever it is that you use to stay focused throughout the day. So for me, I've shared my kind of morning routine, this kind of scheduling success ritual, where on one piece of paper I write down the three things I need to do for school and the three things I need to do for my business every day. So after I've done that quick 10 minute morning routine, I just go to that list and I look through it for the day and then I've already primed myself for the day where I know I have appointments, I know what I have to do, etc. So that is what I would recommend if you're traveling or you're starting a morning routine and an hour is like complete torture to wake yourself up that early, try this 10 minute kind of priming ritual. And it starts with blood flow, getting yourself in the right state of mind to improve your life and then looking at your checklist for what you have to do. So I hope that helps. Best way to stay in touch is to grab my free personal development and weight loss challenge at modernhealthmonk.com forward slash YouTube. And you can check my last videos out here and here. And that link is also in the description box there below.